Oh. All right, I'm Taylor Jensen. This is my Thunderbolt quiver. Well, so moving from the specialty, which is like my kind of small, small wave board, we'll move over to the gem. It's a step up in wave size. It's a step up in performance. It's kind of a step up across the board. This is a 9-1 in black construction. So going back to the construction differences again, this is laminated in carbon, which makes it a bit stiffer. This is a 9-1. This is kind of a, a flatter faced wave performance longboard in a 9-1. It goes up to 9-5, which then kind of drops back more to traditional, but we'll stick to the 9-1 right now. This thing was designed for kind of guys who don't know what they want. They want something that's traditional that'll work when it's small, but they also want something that's performance for when the surf picks up a bit. This is basically all in one longboard. What Dan was able to do with this one is obviously the hard edge again, being a performance longboard, you need to have that hard edge. Dan put a really deep double concave in it, which is something you see in a lot of his shortboards as well. What that does is that generates a ton of speed, but it also helps the board roll over from rail to rail really easily. So that combo with the diamond tail for me allows this board to turn in a tighter radius, but it also keeps your speed going through your turns. So I have a lot of people that comment to me, this board maintains its speed through its turns and can come out of a turn with more speed than you went into it, which once you figure that out, that's like a key to keeping your flow in your surfing. And it's something that's made sort of flatter surf really fun for me. Basically this board has all the trim and glide of the Special T, but all the performance of the TJ Pro, which we'll get to in a minute. I have this one set up as a two plus one right now. Um, I do go with a much smaller side fin. I have a small edge side bite from Flying Diamonds in this. Look, it just helps it kind of pivot a little bit more than a larger side, which I'll ride in my TJ Pros. Um, this is kind of my fun board when the surf's not really providing 110% and I just want to go out and have a good time. I'm not sure if I want to do, be performance or, or be tradition or be modern. I can kind of go in between both and a good wave comes my way. I can surf performance. A flatter wave comes my way. I'm not afraid to take it. I can still trimming those right just as good on this so that's the gem and then again this is the red same thing again the black is just stiffer it's laminated in carbon the red just has more flex it's laminated in fiberglass you can see i have this red set up as a single fin um the other day i was surfing just kind of soft fat waves but it had a lot of chop in it so i wanted to ride the red but it was small it was kind of gutless Kind of felt like having that single fin feel in it. So I chucked a single fin in and that's a nine inch Pro Flex from Flying Diamonds. It felt insane. Just gives it a little bit more loose and kind of that single fin trim and line to it. But um, yeah, it had a bit more flex. So I could still fit in those little crumbles and pockets and, and make the most out of really crummy surf. 